Do you see this custom title right here? Well, today I'm going to be showing you on how you can make your own. Now, first off, you're going to need to download the program, which is called Blockbench, which is completely free. It's very useful for making different kinds of 3D models. You're going to need this to make your own custom title. So once you're inside of Blockbench, you need to go over to File and go down to Plugins. Then you're going to look for a plugin, which is called Minecraft Title Generator. So go and click on it and click Install. And the plugin is now successfully installed. Then afterwards, just go to File, over to New, and then scroll down to Minecraft Title. And now this is where the magic begins. And we're now greeted with a brand new screen, and we have a bunch of different tabs. Step number one is creating your text. And then we have ourselves the font style. We've got five different styles. But I'm going to stick with the first font. And then we have the angle style. If you want the standard Minecraft text, then you choose top. The bottom one is going to be for like the update text. So like the Minecraft Nether update. And then we have small, which is the edition text. Like Xbox 360 edition. But for this particular one, I'm going to keep it on top. And then we have the text row. I don't really mess around with this all too much. And now we have the texture. And oh boy, there is some really cool textures in here that I think you'll absolutely love. If you want something else like Minecon, then you go for this one. But you also got things like bricks. You can have yourself this really cool fancy one. Or a simplified version. There's also a B texture, which definitely looks fairly cool. But let's say you want to have a gradient. Well, you'll choose this button right here. Which in this case, you'll be able to choose up to four different gradients. By default, it's going to give you a yellow and an orange. Now you can also either have this be a smooth gradient, or you can have it be like a hard gradient. Then moving on to overlay. You've got several different kinds of overlays that you could choose from. You could choose things like shine, you've got highlights, and if you want to go for a classic Minecraft look, then you can choose cracks. And doesn't that look pretty cool? Scrolling towards the very bottom, we have even more options. We've got the blending method for the overlay, but moving on to the overlay color, if you want to change the color of this, then you can absolutely do so. But however, you're not going to notice a big difference until you change the blending method. Now obviously, it was already red before, but I'm going to change this to like a green. Then if I change the blend method to source over, then if I change the blend method to source over, then it's going to apply that color. But I'm going to keep it on nice yellow. But let's go ahead and move on to the style. Now on the side of here, I don't really mess around with this all too much, but if you want to change the coloration, then you can do so from here. Then you got a few more options further down, such as the color, the blend method, the opacity, and you can even apply a custom border color. Or you can have it fade from top to the bottom, which I'm definitely going to use. And you also got things for the edges, such as the color of the edges, or even line terminators, which just can add these fancy symbols. And then finally, we have our final tab, which is going to be settings. You got character spacing, row spacing, and even text scale. But I'm going to keep everything just the way it is. And I'm going to click finish. And this is going to be what we're greeted with. Now this tab looks really cool in my opinion. Now let's say you want to add some more text. Well simply just click on this button and then you get all the same options you had beforehand. Now this time I'm going to change the angling to be like the update text. Which in my case is going to be bottom. Now this is definitely looking pretty cool. But we're going to add one more layer of text, but this time we're going to change the angle to the addition text, which in my case is small. Now our text will appear on the bottom, but I'm just going to move it to the very top. Then once the title is completed, then all the stuff to do is render it. But if you also really want to, then you can also paint over it as well. But let's go over to render, and from here you can choose your resolution. I tend to keep it on HD+, but if you want it to be a higher resolution, then you can do so as well. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this camera button, and this is what our title is going to look like. And you can either copy it, or you can export the render. In my case, I want to export the render. So you can export it as four different kinds of textures. You've got the normal export type, which is just going to give you the whole title. But if you're making like a text pack, then you can choose one of these other options. And that's how you can make your own custom titles. This is an incredibly useful tool just for many different situations. And I definitely really do like it. Go ahead and let me know what you think of this in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, then please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're right here. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. But for now, hope you have a logical day. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.